Hello everybody, my name is Tragic. I'm accompanied with my, my girlfriend. You know, no names. We don't use names here. Um, I've decided to tackle the Legend of Zelda. Um, I plan on doing... I'm planning on doing every game. Now, will that happen? Time will tell. It's 25 games over many systems. Some of them are very long. Ocarina of Time, Breath of, Breath of the Wild. You get my point. Great games. I, I don't think there's any that I didn't like. Even the Adventures of Zelda 2 on Nintendo, which is not my favorite, but not it's not a terrible game. It's just a hard game to understand because it was completely different. Anyway, I'm bird walking here. So, this game that I'm playing on the original Nintendo was released uh, in February 20... Uh, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. It was released August 22nd, 1987 on the Nintendo Entertainment System. It was actually released a year earlier than that on the Famicom Disk System in Japan um, on February 21st, 1986. And it was under a different name. Um, it was called the Hyrule Fantasy, The Legend of Zelda. And one of the things that really makes this game unique and has kept it as a iconic game is that it broke the pattern of the story telling you where to go. In fact, there's really no story in the game. Um, you're just plopped in the middle of a thing with, and you're given a sword and if you go to the right cave and boom you have to discover stuff but there's no actual story I'm gonna fill in the blanks right now um, I'm gonna read the plot and there's a point in here where it goes from what happened to what's happening and I'll let you know when alright a long long time ago the world was in an age of chaos an evil army led by Ganon attacked a little kingdom in the land of Hyrule he stole the Triforce of Power one of the powerful treasures kept in the kingdom the Triforce had been passed down among the royal family for generations. Zelda, princess of the kingdom, split the other powerful treasure, the Triforce of Wisdom, into eight pieces and hid them throughout the realm to keep them out of Ganon's hands. At the same time, she sent her most trustworthy nursemaid, Impa, to find someone with the courage to defeat Ganon. Impa fled the small kingdom in secret. Upon hearing this, Ganon grew angry and imprisoned Princess Zelda and sent out a party in search of Impa. Impa's pursuers were quick and soon caught up, caught up with the elderly nursemaid. Surrounded and at the very limit of her energy, a young lad appeared. He skillfully drove off Ganon's henchmen and saved Impa from a fate worse than death. His name was Link, and he was traveling through the area when he happened upon Impa. Impa told Link all of that, all of what was transpiring in the small kingdom. Burning with a sense of justice, Link resolved to save Princess Zelda and defeat Ganon. But Ganon was a powerful foe. In order to fight him, Link would have to gather all of the scattered fragments of the Triforce of Wisdom and reunite them. He prepared himself for the journey ahead and entered Hyrule. So that's the story before the game. Now this is the story of what happens in the game all the way to the end. Okay. Uh, as soon as I could find it again, I lost my... Sp there we are. Ganon's henchmen ran rampant throughout the small kingdom. And Link's quest to recover the fragments of the Triforce of Wisdom was long and fraught. With danger. I don't know why I spaced that. Deal with it. It was fraught with danger. With the support of merchants and elders hiding in caves, he sought out the eight labyrinthine dungeons where the Triforce fragments were hidden. Vicious enemies filled the dungeons, and devious traps blocked his path. It would take every ounce of Link's courage and skill to overcome these challenges. As he journeyed, Link collected valuable items and equipment that allowed him to travel to new areas and gradually grew stronger. As Link gained experience, he upgraded his sword and shield to the more powerful magical sword and magical shield. After gathering all eight of the Triforce fragments, Link proceeded to Spectacle Rock and its Death Mountain Peak, Ganon's stronghold. Ganon's fortress was far larger than any dungeon Link had yet explored. Its rooms seemed infinite and their connections complex, but deep within was Ganon and with him Princess Zelda.
Link fought his way into Ganon's lair, where the princess, the, where the Prince of Darkness waited, formidable but weakened by the completed Triforce of Wisdom. Ganon, Ganon countered Link's attacks by disappearing and lunging at great speed. Link swiped at the air with his magical sword. The room was only so big, and surely a swing would hit Ganon. It was a brutal final battle, ended only by the civil arrow Link fired in Ganon's brief moment of weakness. Having defeated Ganon, Link recovered the stolen Triforce of Power and safely freed the imprisoned Princess Zelda, restoring peace to the land. In return, Zelda offered these immortal words. Thanks, Link. You're the hero of Hyrule. That doesn't seem like much of a reward, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, so there's really three characters in this book, in the, in the game. There's, besides the merchants and everything hiding in the caves, Zelda... Link, Ganon. That's really it. Um, so that's the story of the original Zelda. Now, we're going to get into a little bit of a complicated mess here at the end because I'm going I'm going to be tackling this game in the order of the release. So the first game came out in 1986 and the last one, Breath of the Wild, came out, what, two or three years ago? That's not right. It's been a little bit longer than that, but there's a new one coming, so it's a lot of games. Um, but the actual order of the games um, gets confusing because there's actually three timelines, and they're all canon. They're all correct, which makes things really weird because they can't be 100%. It's based on what happens in time. Um, so the first four games is Skyward Sword, The Minish Cap, Four Swords, and Ocarina of Time. Um, Ocarina of Time was an amazing game, um, but it deals with time travel, which is really weird in its way, in its way when you think about what Zelda is. But it dealt with time uh, travel, which means there is three, after that game, there's three separate paths depending on what happened at the end of that game. Um, the first path is if the hero is defeated, um... The Seven Sages seal away Ganon, King of Evil, um, and there's another path. And it goes with Link to the Past, Link's Awakening, Oracle Seasons and Oracle of Ages, Link Between Worlds, Triforce Heroes, Legend of Zelda, and the Adventure of Link. So this one falls into the Hero is Defeated in Ocarina of Time timeline, and it's near the end of the series. In fact, the two on Nintendo are technically the end of the series. The second time, um, timeline and the third timeline are both kind of tied together. It's if the hero is triumphant. Um, the big difference is there's the child's timeline and the adult timeline. And I think the difference is one is Ganondorf's plot is stopped and one is Ganon, Ganon is sealed away. Um, if Ganondorf's plot is stopped, that's the child timeline. You go to Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, and Four Swords Adventure. If Ganon is sealed away, you go to the Wind Waker, Phantom Hourglass, Spirit, and Spirit Tracks. So that leaves the last, the, what's the, that leaves us wondering where the newest Zelda is in time. Um, Breath of the Wild, which timeline is it in? We don't know. Nintendo has not released that information. They have told us that it is one of the ending, it's in the end, it's one of the last games in the, in one of the timelines, which is great. We just don't know which one of the three timelines it is. Um, <laughs> so I can go on and go on, uh, but I'm going to be doing this in order of release, which means I'm going to be tackling this one, which I've already finished. And after this one, I will be attacking tackling The Adventure of Link, which is... I'm not looking forward to doing that game. It is a very difficult game in a different style, very slippery... Um, but I will knock it out as I knock everything else out on this channel. Um, just wanted to give you guys a heads up. I'm also tackling the Final Fantasy franchise, so <laughs> there will be breaks in between. And I'll throw games in the middle. But for the moment, Zelda and Final Fantasy are the major ones in my uh, planning. So until next time, adios amigos.